after for the expiry of the fixed period or at any time before liquidation is called redemption if they are fully paid up partly paid preferential cannot be redeemed only fully paid up preferential can be redeemed equity share preferential premium should be paid out of equity share premium if the equity share premium is not available take a profit and loss account Hello my dear student I am Dr B S Subramanya called by name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management vidyashram first year college a temple of excellence by soro in this session i am going to hand advanced corporate accounting one four semester unit one session one in favor of redemption of preference share i am going to explain what the, how many types of shares are there how redemption of preference share take way because in a company how the shares are i am going to deal redemption of preference share preference share can be redeemed means pay back or pay back after for the expiry of the fixed period or at any time before liquidation is called redemption so redemption of preference share means their share will be redeemed after the expiry of the stipulated time the stipulated time may be 4 years 5 years 10 years or 15 years you are going to pay if they not redeem the maximum number of allowed as per the company's act here preference share is going to be liquid before the liquidation before the liquid share the word is expiry of the fixed period period may be 10 years 15 years or 20 years we are going to pay so redeem is called a preference share i will repeat preference share can be redeemed paid back or pay back after the expiry of the fixed period fixed period may be 5 years 10 years or 15 years or any time before liquidation then is called redemption of preference share condition what are the condition for redemption of preference what are the rules and regulation to be followed first one preference share issued by the company must be redeemed within the maximum period of 20 years so the maximum period given by the company is only 20 years then if they they have to redeem within the 20 years that is a point then preference share can be redeemed only if they are fully paid up partly paid preference share cannot be redeemed only fully paid up preference share can be redeemed if it's only partly paid ask him to pay the partly balance amount then only redeemed i will give an example if the share value is 100 if they pay only 80 so they have not paid the 20p ask him to pay the balance of 20 then we'll pay back then preference share can be redeemed either at par or at a premium but not at a discount here preference share amount will be paid back after the expiry either at par 100 rupees share will paid back 100 rupees or 100 rupees share will paid at 105 There is no rules here. Hundred rupee share can be paid at rupees ninety five. I will repeat. Hundred rupee share can be redeemed at rupees hundred only, or hundred rupee share pay can be paid only at rupees one not five. But hundred rupee share cannot be paid at rupees ninety five discount. This is the word. Then preference share can be redeemed out of the fresh issue of share. So we can issue the fresh equity share for the sake of redemption. preference share we can issue the share and pay the what is called the preference share holder preference share premium payable out of the equity share premium profit and loss are kept that means in order to pay the equity share preference share premium you can utilize equity share premium or we can utilize the pro if the equity share premium is not available we can utilize the profit and loss and the capital reserve the redemption of preference share stock not be treated as reduction in capital redemption should not be treated as reduction in authorized capital what are the objectives or goals of the financial management there are two types of share in a company one is called equity share and it is called the preference share equity share holders are 
permanent shareholder their money will not be paid back till a company liquidates but share can be transferred preference shareholder their money will be redeemed after the stipulated time either at par or a premium whereas a equity shareholder money will not be paid back but they can transfer the share from one party to another party regarding the preference share their money will be paid back after a stipulated time maybe 4 years or 5 years either at a premium yeah stipulate either at par or at a premium but not at a discount so it should be paid either at a par or a premium but not at a discount more now what are the entries to be passed then what is the common entries to be passed so in order to redeem the prefer- what's called preference share if we issue the share what's the entry regarding this i will explain so there are two types of funds here especially for a company is considered we consider the two funds one is called the general reserve and another is called the profit and loss account so what you have to remember now either first they have issue the share if they issue the share then create the capital redemption reserve fund to pay back the preference shareholder if they not know first create the capital redemption reserve fund out of general reserve and profit and loss account then issue the share for shortage i will repeat if the problem says they will issue the share yes issue the share equity share capital whatever the difference come you create a fund out of general reserve and profit and loss account that fund we call as capital redemption reserve first issue the share for the balance create the reserve by chance if they not issue the share first create the capital redemption reserve fund with the help of general profit and loss general like general reserve account and profit and loss account this you have to remember very carefully you have to see that whether the company issue the share or create the reserve issue the share create the crr capital redemption reserve or create the crr then for the balance issue the share that's all so what are the two times issue the share create the crr capital redemption reserve or create the crr then redeem the what's called issue the equity share then once you issue the share the equity what the preference share premium should be paid out of the equity share premium if the equity share premium is not available then we can we can take the help of profit and loss account entry equity share premium account data or profit and loss account data to redeemable preference share premium you are going to pay preference share premium before paying the preference share transfer it to the holder account redeemable preference share capital account data redeemable preference share premium account data to redeemable preference share holder account transfer entry for the entry redeemable preference share capital account data redeemable preference share premium account data to redeemable preference share holder now pay the preference share holder redeemable preference share holder account data to bank account these five entries are must you have to remember so what is the first entry for equity bank account data to equity share capital account when you create the crr what's the entry general reserve account data profit and loss account data to capital redemption reserve account in order to pay back the preference share premium utilize profit and loss account and equity share premium or say entry profit and loss account data equity share premium account data to redeemable preference share premium make the transfer entry redeemable preference share capital account data redeemable preference share premium account data to redeemable preference share holder account pay back the preference share holder redeemable preference share holder account data to bank account this entry you have to pass now come back here by chance in order to remain assets have been sold assets have been sold assume that first entry bank account data to asset account if the building is 1 lakh sold at rupees 1 lakh entry bank account data or one lakh to building account data or one lakh if the assets are sold at a higher value 
वन लाख रुपीज वस्त ऑफ द बिल्डिंग सोल्ड फॉर वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंट्री बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू असेट अकाउंट वन लाख टू प्रॉफिट एंड लास्ट अकाउंट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड प्रॉफिट ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बाई चांस इन द थर्ड केस वन लाख वर्त ऑफ द बिल्डिंग सोल्ड लैक रुपीज नाइंटी थाउजेंड हाउ मच लास्ट टेन थाउजेंड एंट्री बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर प्रॉफिट एंड लास्ट अकाउंट डेट आर टू असेट अकाउंट सेम वैल्यू बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर टू असेट अकाउंट हाइयर वैल्यू बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर टू असेट अकाउंट टू प्रॉफिट एंड लास अकाउंट लोअर वैल्यू बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर प्रॉफिट एंड लास अकाउंट डेट आर टू हाइयर टू असेट अकाउंट सेम वैल्यू बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर टू असेट अकाउंट हाइयर वैल्यू बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर टू असेट अकाउंट टू प्रॉफिट एंड लास अकाउंट लो इयर वैल्यू ऑट लास्ट बैंक अकाउंट डेट आर प्रॉफिट एंड लास अकाउंट डेट आर टू असेट अकाउंट दिस यू हैव टू लर्न नाउ बिफोर व्हाट वी से दैट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हियर रिडम्पशन ऑफ प्रेफरेंस है व्हाट यू हैव टू लर्न नो फर्स्ट पॉइंट क्रिएट CRR Capital Redemption Reserve or issue the shares here the most important is first if you create the CRR then issue the share if you issue the share create crr then crr for the balance how it will be first you have to find out by chance you have to pay that 1 lakh rupees preference share holder plus premium Ten percent, ten thousand. You have to pay back one lakh ten thousand. Shares are issued for fifty thousand, fifty thousand shares issued. See that. What is the total amount payable? One lakh ten thousand. What is the face value? One lakh. What is the premium? Ten thousand. So shares issued for fifty thousand. How much shortage for the face value? Another one. Create the CRR from this, from the profit and loss account, or from the reserve to the extra fifty thousand. It becomes one line regarding the premium from premium to premium pay. Equity share premium account debt are ten thousand to preference share premium ten thousand. If the equity share premium is not available, then take the profit and loss account debt are ten thousand. to redeemable preference share premium 10000 once you create now the entry will be redeemable preference share capital account 1 lakh redeemable preference share premium 10000 to redeemable preference share holder 1 lakh 10000 then pay redeemable preference share holder account debt or to bank account so you must be very very careful remember eh? issue the share create the crr or create the crr issue the share for the balance first when the redemption takes place first you have to remember the mind are they are issuing the share are they creating the reserve if they are not or issuing the share create the crr with the help of general reserve and profit and loss account once you create the crr for the short take issue the share Equity share preference share premium should be paid out of the equity share premium. If the equity share premium is not available, take the profit and loss account by chance. If you want to utilize both, then the entry will be equity share premium account debt or profit and loss account debt or redemption of preference share premium account. Last entry transfer entry redeemable preference share capital account debt or redeemable preference share premium account debt or. to redeemable preference share holder account then pay redeemable preference share holder account debt or to bank account so you understand these are all the basic idea which are given in the next session 
ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் த ப்ராப்ளம் அபவுட் தாம் ரிடம்ஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ரிஃபரன்ஸ் த சேம் டைப் ஆஃப் என்ட்ரி வில் கம் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி ஈஸி பட் ஓன்லி திங் நோ யூ ஹாவ் டு ரிமெம்பர் அபவுட் த சிஆர்ஆர் ப்ரீம் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன் டில் தான் குட் பாய் மீட் இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன்